Buenas tardes. Welcome to McAllen International Airport. My name is Jeremy Santoscoa. I'm the Director of Aviation for the City of McAllen. And today I'm honored to service our group here as your MC. I want to thank all of our special distinguished guests that we have here today, starting with our Mayor, Javier Villalobos. Our Commissioner, JJ, JJ Zamora. Our City Manager, Royal Roy Rodriguez. Assistant City Manager, Joe Vera. All of the McAllen Department Heads. Our Advisory Board, our Chair, Chris Artis. Our Vice Chair, Anita Moon. Mike Stanton. Jeff, Jeffrey Smats. Armando Salinas. And Norma Gavada. And Ms. Uh, me. Uh, Consul Froilan Yesca Cedillo. Consul Benjamin Galán. Consul Maria de Rosario Obando. I'd also like to extend my unwavering support and Thank you to the McAllen Chamber of Commerce and our McAllen Economic Development Corporation. Thank you so much for being here. So today we welcome one of the most important airlines in Mexico and Latin America, Aeromexico. They have a long history of providing customer service with the best travel experience and keeping Mexico connected to the world. But to talk about what makes our community so unique, uh, in building relationships, please help me welcome the Honorable McAllen Mayor Javier Villalobos. Actually, just very excited to be here with you all. Welcome uh, once again. Bienvenidos a todos, our good friends from Aro Mexico. We had a little celebration yesterday, but of course, this press conference is very important to us. And it's very important because every time we call, our, our people from the press are always here, so thank you very much. We're always covering. Because this is an event that, this is something that's very important to us and we want to get it out there. You know, a direct flight from McAllen to Mexico City. I think you all know we had one before and then we didn't anymore. But fortunately, with the good planning the, uh, between our airports out of Mexico, we see an opportunity. And that opportunity can only be developed if we keep on talking about it. If the press keeps on covering and people realize what this is, and this is one hell of an opportunity. I mean, to go to Mexico straight, I'll give an example. I'm off to Mexico City this Sunday. I wish I were flying out of here. I'm gonna have to go to Reynosa, get in out of Mexico, and go to Mexico City. Wouldn't it be wonderful to just, right here in this beautiful airport, get on board and straight out there? Well, that's what we have starting February the 2nd. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our press, please spread the word. We need to make this one work. We're willing to work. I know we are, I know Auto Mexico is, and this, this one's gonna happen. God bless everybody. Let's pray for this, this venture. It's gonna be good, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. One other guest I'd like to recognize is the Port Director, Carlos Rodriguez, for Customs and Border Protection. In McAllen, we believe in creating business opportunities beyond our borders. And to talk about how we make things happen, I'd like to invite McAllen City Manager, Roel Roy Rodriguez, to the podium. Thank you, Jeremy. Bienvenido, Mario Mexico. Yeah. Sound like JJ. <laughs> the city of McAllen is the epicenter of the Rio Grande Valley's economy, and we continue to do great because of its amazing people, committed leadership, and remarkable partnerships like the one we recently made with Aero Mexico. Welcome to McAllen. We know that this is just the beginning of an incredible journey. Starting in February, Aeromexico will conveniently connect McAllen with Mexico City, 
a key business destination with endless cultural offerings and excellent gastronomy. We invite you to book your tickets now and experience the uniqueness of one of the most beautiful cities in the world. As we continue to grow, McAllen also has a lot to offer to Mexico. And with this connectivity, we will expand our presence in Mexico's markets to open up more business and social opportunities to promote our community. Gracias por su confianza y por conectar a McAllen con nuestros amigos de México. Felicidades a Aeroméxico y bienvenidos a su casa del sur de Texas, nuestros amigos de Aeroméxico y Pepe. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you for your words. Our, one of our other board members I, I failed to mention was Mr. Joe Brown. Thank you for being here, sir. Joe Brown. International collaborations have been essential for McAllen's success. And today, having Eromeco with us here confirms the city's commitment to continuing building strong partnerships in light of our international business expansion. I am honored to introduce a great Eromeco friend, Mr. Pepe Zapata. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Mayor Villalobos. City Manager, Mr. Rodriguez, thank you for the opportunity of being here. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, especially our friends from the media. It's an honor being here with you today. I'm very excited, very excited to be sharing the news about our Mexico's new service between McAllen and Santa Lucia's airport, which is Mexico City's second largest airport in Mexico City. This new service will originate, will originate on Mexico City on February 1st. It's going to be an overnight, overnight here, and it's going to start servicing McAllen to Mexico City on February 2nd. The scheduled departure time from McAllen, uh, for, those, for those of you who like to wake up early in the morning, uh, early risers, is at 6.01 a.m., arriving in Santa Lucia at 7.44. The return flight will be from Santa Lucia, departing at 2.58, arriving here around 3.40, 3.30 in the afternoon. It's a very convenient uh, schedule or itinerary for business travelers. We're sure this, this service is going to represent a great opportunity to connect Mexico, a 20 million, 22 million people city or area, with McAllen and the Rio Grande Valley. This service will be daily, not three times a week, daily operating uh, Ember 190 with a, a capacity of 99 seats, 90, uh, 12 of them in, in our business class, Class A Premier. For those of you who have flown out of Reynosa, it's the same aircraft we're going to be operating. So this represents a, an offering of about 6,000 seats per month on a round trip basis, basically, which represents a great opportunity to uh, produce a good economic benefit to the local economy of McAllen and the Rio Grande Valley. Maca McAllen to Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia Airport, as I mentioned, is the second largest airport in, in Mexico City. Uh, it was recently opened two years ago. Currently, we're this, uh, the largest operator uh, we offer about 10,000, I mean, I'm sorry, 1,000 uh, operations per month. The airport is located uh, about 20 miles north of uh, Mexico City, 40, 45 minute drive, depending on where you're going. But it's very convenient, and we're building a, our, our, a mini hub in there. So right now, uh, this represents, it's going to be the 12th destination we offer out of Santa Lucia. Second International, we're currently operating out of Houston Airport to Santa Lucia, now my client is going to be the second, but also represents a very good opportunity for connecting travelers, especially from McAllen, to 10 cities in Mexico, mainly Guadalajara, Cancun, Oaxaca, Veracruz. So we're very excited about this, this opportunity. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the local city uh, manager, mayor, and all the authorities, and our friends from McAllen Airport for the opportunity to making this happen. And we already started yesterday working together to making sure this flight is a success for all, not just for our Mexico, but for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Pepe. McAllen International Airport continues to be the only airport in the region with year-round international service. 
also leading the market with 45% and provides the most convenient and best travel experience. We are the RGV's favorite airport, serving McAllen and the Rio Grande Valley with our newest partner at Omexico, with American, United, Allegiant, and coming soon, Delta Airlines. Breaking activity records four out of the last five years with a historic record in 2023 with over 964,000 total passengers. Congratulations to all of our leadership, partners, and passengers. So at this moment, I'd like to open the floor to our media partners for questions or comments. Hi, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Wanted to thank so much the media partners for their attendance. We'll be facilitating the, the media questions as submitted by all news directors with this microphone over here. Question number one, Yes, uh, one of the questions is, uh, what has changed in terms of airline regulations and economic conditions that gave Aeromexico the confidence to come to Macau? Can you hear me? Okay. Well, uh, what has changed is uh, Aeromexico, after the pandemic, we started growing back. Uh, you know, before the pandemic, we went through a painful chapter 11 process. And then after that, we started growing. Uh, we went from 100 planes, now we did a 153 aircraft. And as we were receiving all these aircrafts, we had a master plan to grow into the, into the United States, together with our joint venture partner, Delta Airlines. So for this year, the plan was to uh, create or start 16 new routes between Mexico and the US, and one of them was my Mexico City or Santa Lucia to McAllen. Uh, why economic factors decided this? We, we saw an opportunity looking at the demographics and the economics of the area, the McAllen Rio Grande Valley. We saw an opportunity to, to fly into this, to this area. And we see the good benefit for, especially for the consumer. We also been hearing a, a lot of commentary or, or feedback from customers that are flying from Reynosa that, that about the need to fly from McAllen to, to Mexico. So that's what drove this decision. Thank you so much, sir. Question number two. Sí. Ignacio Gutierrez, TV Azteca, Texas. Eh, Mr. Zapata, ¿qué impacto económico genera esta nueva ruta en beneficio para acercar ambos países en un vuelo directo? En números reales yo no tengo, no tengo información del, del impacto, pero lo que sí sé es que estamos ofreciendo 6,000 asientos diarios entre, entre, digo, perdón, mensuales entre México y Estados Unidos en esta región. Estamos hablando de un impacto, va a tener un impacto muy positivo en, en la región. Viendo el, el, el historial de la demanda de, de esta ruta, eh, la, lo, lo que estamos viendo es que la mitad de los pasajeros van a originar en México, lo cual significa que va a, mucha gente de México estará viniendo más que nada de, de compras o actividades de placer, como lo hacen anteriormente, este, y, el, y el otro 50% de pasajeros originando en esta región hacia México, principalmente la Ciudad de México, gente de negocios que va a hacer sus reuniones, pero también mucha gente de placer, por eso estamos ofreciendo conexiones a diferentes puntos en la, de, de la República Mexicana. José Luis de Garza, del periódico eh, Es de esperarse algunas promociones especiales, de hecho el precio eh, dado a conocer es bastante bajo para los vuelos a México, pero tienen un programa de promociones especiales para McAllen, y lo segundo, la continuidad en la ruta. Eso, eh, y lo digo por los lectores nuestros, tienen un poco de inquietud en cuanto a la continuidad con la situación tan especial que tuvimos en el pasado con otra línea. Bueno, este, la, el programa de promociones, como cualquier otra ruta, es la tarifa son en base a oferta y demanda. Ahorita tenemos una promoción de 99 dólares, con todos los impuestos incluidos, como promoción inaugural pero vamos a estar midiendo la, la, la demanda más que nada en los próximos meses. En cuanto a la continuidad, este, estamos muy optimistas de que esta ruta es una ruta que llegó aquí para quedarse, a tal grado de que yo personalmente y varios miembros del equipo hemos estado aquí desde Antía, hemos tenido muchas reuniones con diferentes líderes de negocio, la, la Cámara de Comercio, el, la, la Oficina de Desarrollo Económico, para poder hacer, crear esas alianzas 
que nos ayuden primero que nada a, a, a compartir con un millón, dos millones de personas que viven en esta, en esta región, que el vuelo está aquí, que vamos a, volamos a México, que conectamos a, a 10 ciudades en, en, este, en todo el país y muy optimistas más que nada porque es una región que hemos visto está creciendo continuamente desde el punto de vista demográfico y económico. Next question. Hi, I'm Jerry with CBS4. Uh, I was wondering, uh, how does this uh, new flight help someone uh, who wants to fly to Central America or South America destinations? Well, it, yeah, people can connect even though we don't offer connectivity from Santa Lucia to Central South America. People can connect from Santa Lucia via this uh, um, uh, shuttle service from one airport to the international airport, to the other international airport, and then connect to Mexico to, to 19 destinations in South, in South America. Next question. What went into the process uh, at Aero Mexico of uh, looking at this area and deciding it was a good place to come back to? Well, this is the first time we fly into, into McAllen. And, and again, based on what I mentioned earlier, we, we're looking at the demographics and the, the economics. We're seeing how this area is trending up. Uh, and, and also the demand that we're seeing from Reynosa to Mexico and feedback we have received from our customers that are asking us for a flight from, from McAllen. Next question. Buenas tardes, Román Pedraza, la revista Expresión. El condado de Hidalgo tiene más de 800 mil residentes. De ese residentes que tenemos aquí, casi el 99% somos mexicanos. Eh, los comentarios entre alguna gente de la población, la posibilidad de conocer eh, el aeropuerto Felipe Ángeles por todo lo que se ha dado de descubrimientos arqueológicos y que hay un museo histórico que se generó ahí también. ¿Qué posibilidades hay en el futuro de que la gente pueda llegar desde aquí, los mexicanos en el exterior, a, a conocer, a aterrizar en el aeropuerto Felipe Ángeles? Pues estamos aterrizando, estamos aterrizando en el Felipe Ángeles. Además quiero aclarar, Santa Lucía es el, 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 el nombre del aeropuerto que todo el mundo conoce, bueno, lo conocemos porque es la base militar Santa Lucía, pero ya el nombre oficial, y disculpen por no haberlo mencionado antes, es Felipe Ángeles. Entonces, ese es el aeropuerto donde estamos hablando de Macal. Es un aeropuerto que una vez más está ubicado a 20 millas al norte de, de la ciudad. Un aeropuerto que se inauguró hace dos años, el, 21, el próximo 21 de marzo cumple dos años que se inauguró. Es un aeropuerto muy precioso, muy bonito, este, muy buena infraestructura, muy moderno. Y este, estoy seguro que nuestros pasajeros de Macal, cuando lleguen a México o transiten por ese aeropuerto, lo van a disfrutar mucho. Hola, buenas tardes. Eduardo Cariaga de TV Azteca, Texas. Me, la pregunta va enfocada a la conectividad de ambos países. ¿Qué facilidades va a haber en el tema de conectar las ciudades aquí en el condado de Hidalgo? Si hay algo al respecto o si están planeando algo para aquellos que viven fuera de la ciudad de Macalla. ¿Y te refieres a, te, a transportación terrestre? Es correcto, sí, transportación local para que puedan tomar el vuelo hacia la ciudad. No, en el momento no tenemos nada, pero es una, algo bueno que podemos evaluar con el equipo. Este, se nos hace una buena idea. Right. And we, we do have a public transit uh, that runs from Brownsville to uh, the other side of Mission. That exists uh, throughout the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, also routes to, from UTRGV to and from City of McAllen, we've got our central station right there on Main and, uh, I'm sorry, on uh, Business and 15. So uh, that connectivity exists right now for ground transportation. Uh, Aldo Nava, Radio United. What is the type of airplane which is being flown and how many passengers will it see? Any questions for the mayor or <laughs> city manager? This is the best press conference I've ever had. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, Ember 190. Uh, it's uh, 99 seats. Uh, 12 of them in uh, Classe Premier or Business Class Cabin. It's the same aircraft as the one we operate out of Reynosa for those of you who has, have flown in our Mexico. I'm pretty sure everyone has flown in our Mexico before. Out of Reynosa is the same aircraft. Thank you.
you very much to all our media partners. Are there any additional questions that haven't been fielded at this time? Anybody else? I just want to say something just real quick. I, I want to again want to thank everyone who we have met here in the last two days, and I say on behalf of me and my team, we have felt very welcome, and everyone very open to listening to what we have to say. But most importantly, we have received very good feedback from a lot of you and a lot of recommendations and also the willingness to work with Aeromexico to make sure this fight is a success. So that's what I said earlier, I'm very optimistic that this fight is something that's is, is is, is gonna stay for, for it's gonna stay. But uh, we need everybody everyone's uh, support and uh, we feel that support from business leaders and chamber of commerce and everyone who, who we, we have met. So I'm looking forward to making sure this fight is a success for everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Peace feel free. We'll be moving the one-on-one -on -one interviews over here next door. Um,